when we had him in here, when he was in the House and the Washington Examiner, uh, the other writers walked out saying, that's the most well-informed, probably the most intelligent member of Congress I've met. And so he got to go into those and in nerdy ways. He was talking about the Chevron doctrine, you know, Supreme mm -hmm. Court precedent on administrative procedure, basically. Um, but then um, some of the topics were very online. <laughs> I know, mm -hmm. You know, he's talking about digital currency, he's talking or very wonky. That's DeSantis. Welcome to The Debrief, where we talk with the Washington Examiner's top journalists about the headlines they're covering this week and where the story's going next. I'm Sarah Bedford, and I'm here today with senior columnist Tim Carney. And Tim, you wrote a piece about Governor Ron DeSantis' sort of unconventional campaign launch on Twitter spaces and how you what you think it says about how he wants to be perceived. Well, he's a conventional candidate, and so I thought this unconventional launch was was noteworthy because I don't think he wants to be a conventional candidate. If you go back in time to when Ron DeSantis was sort of in the military, let's say he was thinking back then, I want to run for president, he was on a path that kind of the, the post-Reagan, pre-Trump Republican would do. You're going to go, you're going to be in the House, you're going to be in the, you know, a conservative member in the House, run, govern as a, as a conservative governor in a, in a swing state. Well, what Donald Trump showed us in 2016 was that there's a huge appetite in the Republican base for something different. His ability to carry states that most Republicans didn't carry, Michigan and Pennsylvania, et cetera, uh, showed and his, uh, what the man there is for the unconventional. But DeSantis is kind of what a conservative Republican was supposed to be, you know, Paul Ryan era. So I think launching in something that's in the alternative media was an attempt to be like, no, I'm a new kind of Republican. Well, really, to his bones, he's sort of an old kind of Republican. Once they got past all the glitches and the audio problems and they actually got into the back and forth mm -hmm. that was the sort of the meat of the event, what did you think of the issues that DeSantis chose to highlight, like the substance of it? Well, it was very, uh, it was very DeSantis. He's very well informed. He's a wonk. When we had him in here, when he was in the House and the Washington Examiner, uh, the other writers walked out saying, that's the most well informed, probably the most intelligent member of Congress I've met. And so he got to go into those and in nerdy ways. He was talking about the Chevron doctrine, you know, Supreme mm -hmm. Court precedent on administrative procedure, basically. Um, but then um, some of the topics were very online. <laughs> I know, mm -hmm. You know, he's talking about digital currency, he's talking or very wonky. That's DeSantis. So is it him just showing off his breadth of knowledge? Is it him just answering what's asked him? Or are we getting an insight into what he actually thinks matters? which might be stuff that I think matter, but might not. You, there's not a big Chevron doctrine vote in the Republican <laughs> primary. In blue collar Michigan. So I, I, I want to know what his reading habits are, because I think that his reading and his online habits are showing up a little in this early campaign rollout. Uh, you write that DeSantis might actually be a good or even better fit for where the media landscape is going. Less cable news, you know, more of decentralized media platforms, talk a little bit more about yeah, that. Yeah, I think that, that Trump and Obama are two great examples of what works in sort of the maybe old and dying model of cable news. Trump in just sort of uh, bombast, loudness, saying outrageous things, getting attention. Nobody, nobody has been better at getting our attention than Donald Trump. And Barack Obama, just the soaring rhetoric, he was, he, he was a really good speaker. His campaign announcement in Chicago um, in February 2007, if you look at some of his speeches during his presidency, he just worked perfectly with the cable news cameras on him in that setting. Ron DeSantis doesn't have those skills. He's mm -hmm. neither soaring nor roaring, as I wrote. <laughs> um, he's kind of serious. He's kind of nerdy. He can be smarter than the other guy across the table. So a decentralized, uh, less sort of bright lights and glitzy media environment might play to his advantage. Well, Tim, thank you so much for being here today. You can get more writing from Tim and the rest of the commentary team at WashingtonExaminer.com.